again, then welcome back to Discover Wonders World. No wonders today, solo review, so it's just my ugly face today and not the pretty, very lovely lady that is my fiance and wife to be next March. Wonder. Um, we just went into Asda to pick up some bits and pieces, some shopping, and just a, can, a bottle of Dr. Pepper, really. I had a mooch down the beer um, aisle, as, usually, as I do, just to see what else they've got in, see if anything takes my fancy. Obviously, they've got some new beers in, they've got, um, I can't remember what they all are, to be fair. There's some stuff from, uh, what have they got in? They've got stuff from North, um, other bits and pieces. Um, but at the end of the aisle, as I was walking, past because to be fair there was nothing there that really tickled my fancy um saw on the rack end that's new camden beer uh, so i thought well i'll pick that up because that looks quite interesting and it is a can of their canopy canopy ipa uh session ipa don't know anything about it uh, apart from it was about six quid for the for you had to buy a box of four so with the uh camden beers Generally, the beers covers boxes of four. Huge fan of Camden Heller's, Heller's Lager. Really like that. The Marmite beer they did um, was, was okay. I managed to polish off all four cans without too much hassle, to be fair. Uh, and this one's 4.4%. So um, it said, said it's new. Um, haven't seen anything about it. So I'm actually quite interested to see if it's any good. Uh, on the Give some information on the side, so we'll read it out. It said um, the malts are Pilsner, wheat, <coughs> carapils, flaked oats, and cara. The kettle hops are pearl, uh, whirlpool hops are citra, dry hops are citra, enigma, uh, sabro, and cascade. The yeast is can California ale yeast. And it says good things come in small packages like this beer, inspired by no coast style. So the no coast style is the sort of the central belt of West Coast and East Coast IPA. So the bitterness of the West Coast um, with the juiciness of the East Coast, and these things sit sort of right in the middle. Um, juicy Sabro and Enigma hops paired with clean peels de malt make it lighter than usual IPA. We have all the big flavours, just like a canapé, and just as fun at a party. Or as my friend would say, <laughs> Blue Van Mail, and I sent him a picture of it, can ape. So um, he thinks he's got apes in the can. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, Camden, do some decent stuff. They also do some middle of the road stuff. So I'm not expecting it to be, being a session IPA, I'm not expecting it to be um, fantastic, light, easy drinking, at its absolute best, I would think. <coughs> Excuse me. So in the glass, there's a little bit of haze to it. Um, straw, in this light, um, straw colour, coming off more orangey um, in the camera. Um, a bit of carbonation whizzing around in there, but it's not, not heavy. On a one finger, very white fluffy head. So let's get the aroma and see what we get. Pretty subdued. Nothing jumping out. There was a bit of citrus fruit, so a bit of lemon. A bit of orange. Predominantly orange, I would say. But it's all quite muted, um, quite light. And nothing raging out of it. Um, so looking light, which is what I expect to be fair. Um, and smells sort of quite uh, refreshing and drinkable. So cheers everyone. Bit more carbonation than I was expecting in it. Very light bodied, almost lagerish. Quite a hot, there's a nice hop, there's a nice hoppy, um, 
prickle to it. Um, <clears throat> Flavour wise, a bit of orange, citrus fruits, and that's probably about it. It is a bit wishy washy um, in the body. Um, but then at 4.4% and they're calling it a session IPA so I can live with that. There is a nice hot prickle to it. Um, it is very easy drinking, I'll give it that. Big flavours just like a canapé are just as fun at a party. Big flavours no, I don't agree with that. Um, and there is a slight astringent bitterness on the end, which is sitting with me. Bit of grapefruit, I'm picking up a tiny bit of grapefruit there as well. It's alright, it's alright. Um, is it the best thing that I've ever had from Camden? No. Is it the worst thing I've ever had? No. Um, I would put that bog standard session IPA. It's okay. Um, doesn't do anything badly, doesn't do anything particularly well. Easy drinking, light, and that's about it. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. If I was going to buy a, Camden, a box of Camden beers, I'd buy the Heller's Lager. That's, it's all right. It's, for me, I think it's a thumbs in the middle. It's, that astringent bit in the sits, is sitting in, on the palate and it's making it quite, quite unpleasant actually. I'm almost tempted to give it a thumbs down. No, I'm going to say with a thumbs in the middle, it, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, will I buy it again? No. Uh, is it worth checking out? If you if if you like trying different things, give it a, give it a check out. Let us know what you think um, because I'm interested in what you guys think as well. Um, will I buy it again? No. Better beers for that price in all the supermarkets. Um, yeah. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. We don't mind. Um, all interaction is good. Leave a comment um, if you tried it, if you're going to try it, let us know what you think. Um, subscribe to the channel, that always helps. Ding the bell, lets you know when we release new videos. There's a join button that helps um, the running of the channel. And me and Wanda, we'll see you very soon.